let's start desire under the elms by Eugene O'Neill. The last topic for our paper. And I think today is the last day for your classes. Is it today or? Tomorrow, ma'am. Tomorrow, okay. We'll click on to page 310. This also you have a lot of material, but I'll just explain to you the story and the important things. So you can read them. Come to page 310. Eugene O'Neill is also a very, very important playwright in American theater. Come to page 322. Make a note of this paragraph. These two, one, one, two, Eugene, Eugene O'Neill's contribution to American drama. And one, uh, page 323, most of the plays of Eugene O'Neill are tragedies. So make a note of that. Come to page 325. Make a note of the symbolism in you, Eugene O'Neill's play. Page 323. So he uses symbols. So what is symbolism? Underline the second paragraph. Symbols suggest ideas. Then come to page 326, Expressionism. Expressionism, come to the next page 327, techniques. These are important techniques like realism. Expressionism is another technique. That's why I'm spending a few minutes on this because the play is simple. That's why I've kept it to the end. Page 327, that second paragraph. First paragraph says expressionism was first used by August Strindberg. Second paragraph, in a realistic play, speech and actions are used to give an idea of the working of the mind. And an expressionism, underline third, four, third line from the bottom, symbols, metaphors, fables, are used. So, ma'am, in, ma in this page, could you repeat once again? 327, ma'am. 327. 327. Yeah, 326 expression of expressionism begins. Come to 327, second paragraph. Expressionism is depicted in a drama. Fourth line, expressionist drama relies for the correct and in-depth understanding of the psyche on the slip of tongue, dreams, and informal movements of the character. So how do we get an idea about what is happening is through symbols, metaphors, etc. So in this play, elm tree is symbolic. 
and therefore it is expressionistic. Okay, elms, elm is a kind of a tree. So the desire under the elms Come to page 332. You have um, not only 332, yeah, from uh, 332, you have some important terms associated with drama. Farce, what is a farce? What is a drama, melodramas? What is expressionism? What is symbolism? What is realism? So this will help you further. And you have a lot of things in 333. Please go through all this. These are very helpful. Okay. Ma'am, we'll have short answer type questions in this. Uh, you may not have because short answer types will be only from the background or from the text also. But uh, that is why I'm going slow. Expressionism is important when it comes to desire under the elms. Realism is important when it comes to which, which work we discussed. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. So based on the technique used in the work, you are likely to have a short answer. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Yes. So come to now page 347. There you have the summary and that's easy for you. Come to 348. 347, you have the brief summary. So what happens in act one? It's a three act play. In the first act, there are three brothers, if you're writing down or should I keep, uh, maybe I'll try to share that notes example and then do it, that might help you. Yes. So you have desire under the elms. You have Ephraim Cabot, farmer and father. He had two wives, both died without maybe they both died with a lot of hard work on farms. See, America as a land, they had to work hard, till, cultivate, etc. Farming is not easy. Many times we think farming is easy. So Ephraim Cabot, the father, he has three sons. But his two wives both died young. So in Act 1, what happens?
Ibn son of one wife, maybe first wife, we don't know. Okay. Talks to Simon and Peter, two brothers. We'll say half brothers because he had two wives, right? And now I'm going to underline these talks. What does he talk is important. So he tells his half brothers. Look, in California state, people have discovered gold. So there is a gold rush. People are going there to make quick and easy money. So he tells his brothers, okay, Iben tells them, I will give you money to go and settle in California and have an easy life. But what is the agreement? No share in father's property, father's land. Did you get the point now? So, they are discussing all this. And uh, what happened? The father went away for a long time, for months, without a word. Madam, voice is slow and screen is not coming. Screen is not coming? How come? My part, it says screen sharing. Yes. Okay, I'll stop sharing and then share again. What? We can see, madam. Acha, you could see. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Maybe you have to adjust. How about the audible or uh, voice? Is it clear? Okay. It's clear, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it could be soft because I'm trying into the um, hard copy and then type it out. Okay. So, um, father went away for a long time. And these three brothers are angry. Okay. So Iben tells them, look, if this is the deal, I can do this. But the next morning, father returns. And he brings his third young wife. Okay. Named Abby. Now, see, they are grown-up children. He has three grown-up sons. But he brings a young wife. Iben steals his father's money. Okay. These two go away. I'm, I'm making the short story very brief now. This is all in 
Act One. Now, what happens in Act Two? Oh. See, uh, there is a Ma yes. The last point: who who go away? These two means one is even, and second one is no, no, no. Last point, ma'am. Even still, his dad money. These two go away. Means two. Which means... two? Which two? Now you tell me which two. I have already explained. Means uh, Evan's father and his no. young wife. No. no. Simon and Peter. Simon. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So what happens? Second scene. No, sorry, act two. Uh, yeah, there's a prostitute by name Mini. Okay. All of them uh, uh, keep visiting Mini now and then. Act two. I'll stop here. What's the time? 4.55, yeah. So the rest of it, you can do it on your own. I think now it's easy for you to follow. A um, few months later, come to page 349. I'll mail you this document. You can complete it. Page 349. Two months later, Abby catches Eben sneaking away to see Minnie. Abby is a young wife. Abby, why do you think she married the old man at Fran? Probably she wanted the land too. Otherwise, what would she get in marrying this old man? So when Abby is going to see Mini, sorry, yeah, Ipen is going to see Mini, Abby tries to make advance towards him. But they argue and even leaves. Abby heard from the fight, asked Gabbard if he will leave the farm to Eben. Are you getting the story? So Ephraim, the father, says, No, 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 I will not give the farmland to my elder son Eben also. I will leave, uh, I will burn down the farm than leave it to anyone. Then Abby asks, will you leave it to me? Because I'm your wife. But the husband or the uh, old man Ephraim Kabot says, look, the farm needs a man to work. You can't do a lot of work. So he, you need a man to work on it. I can't give it to you either. Then Abraham, Abby, the young wife, says she will have a son. So Ephraim, the old man, is so overcome with emotion and they pray to God to bless them. And this makes Abby begin to think of a plan. What is the plan? She tries to have physical relationship. But then, you know, Ephraim is already old. And uh, it's an unsuccessful attempt. Abby loses her thought, herself in thoughts of Eben. And uh, Ephraim thinks about farm. Abby, uh, Eben alone in his room, thinks of the oppression created by the stone walls and senses Abby's closeness. See, remember, Abby was the one who was trying to tempt him when he was going to see the prostitute Mimi. Now, when Abby, the young wife, is frustrated with the old man. Ephraim goes out because he's frustrated in his not being able to satisfy. Even and Abby meet that night, though confused at first. Eben tries to take revenge on his father through Abby, and they have physical um, 
relationship. Act three, obviously, you have Abby giving birth to a child, son. Obviously, all the local people wonder if and suggest that it's not Ephraim's son, it is an event's son. Neighbors come for a celebration and Abby sings a lullaby to her baby. Even arrives and together they look at their son. Cabo now calls Even and tells him that he will not inherit the farm. And he describes Abby's plot to secure the farm for herself and her child. Even attacks Cabo or Ephraim who overpowers him. Remember, see who is strong, strong physically. Ephraim, the old man, is still strong. So he beats up Ibn. And Abby, finding Ibn beaten, admits that when she first arrived, she had conspired against him, but now she loves Ibn. She declares her love for Ibn, the son. Ibn calls her a liar, wishes their son had never been born, and vows to follow his brothers to California. Abby is confused and alone and sings again to her baby as she tries to think how to prove her love to Ibn. See, what was now there's a lot of confusion. Who is genuinely in love with anybody? Because Abby says, I want a son to inherit the farm. And Abby also had a son with Ibn, but she said she loved Ibn. Ephraim told that Abby wanted to have a son to have the farm. So how will Ibn really understand and accept that Abby really loved Ibn? So with all this, Ibn is confused and he wants to go away, never be there. A few hours later, when Ibn first prepares to leave, Abby tells him that she has killed their child. Horrified, Ibn rushes away to summon the sheriff, the police. Abby waits for Ibn to return with sheriff. Cabo, Cabo appears. And when she reveals what she has done, that the baby was Ibn's, now Ephraim gets very angry and tries to strangle her. Ibn arrives and tells Abby that while she was telling the sheriff what she had done, he realized how much he loves her and now hopes they can escape together. But Ephraim, the father, Recording uh, stopped. Uh, but Abby insists that she must pay for her sin. When the sheriff arrives, Ibn tells him that he helped plan the killing. And the lovers are led away, leaving Cabo to work on the farm alone. I hope you got the sense. It was Abby's plan to kill the son. But that made Abby realize, uh, Iben also realized that she was genuinely in love with Iben. So Iben tells the police that she alone cannot be called as the guilty. He gave her the plan and therefore he also should be sent to the jail. So both go to the jail. And Ephraim Cabo is once again all alone on the farm. So what are the themes? What are the symbols? We have it from page uh, I'll just take five minutes break or three minutes. Uh, can you read this on your own or should I read, explain? What do you say? What are the themes? Come to page 362. Maybe I'll just do the themes and symbol.
Yeah, can someone read out? Page 362, last. As you have, this ma'am, as you have already seen, the play realistically touches upon the human condition. Yeah, not that entire thing, my last paragraph. When it comes. Uh -huh. So underline, it, yeah, underline. When it comes uh, to the. So, uh, we'll do one thing, we'll make it brief. Underline the first theme, theme of family. Put number one. Number two, greed is number two. Number three, come down to the last but one line. Sexuality, sexuality. Three. Four is relationships. Number five, come to the next page. Power of love and revenge. Six, past and present. Relationship between past and present. Seven, preoccupation with material comforts. California Gold Rush. Number eight, come to the fourth line from bottom. American dream. Obviously, when we talk about materialism, you have to link it with American dream. Next, come to the next paragraph. Is it number eight or nine? Victims of, yeah. Modern man as a victim of ironies. Next, modern crisis. How they are torn between many things. Number, last point, psychological aspects of the human mind. Okay, come to page 361. 361. 360 and 361, you have everything about symbolism. But I'm only talking about symbolism on 361, elm tree. Underline, elm trees are trees of sleep, standing for dark passion, intuition, maternal insights, structure, strength. Importance, prominence of the mother figure in the play. Okay, so elm tree is one big symbol. Second one, come to the next paragraph. Stone and land. Another element of symbolic significance is stone or land. There is a stone. Stones symbolize unity, strength, etc. And then the land, the farmland. Okay. Then expressionism and realism. Come to page three fifty five, please. You have the biblical elements. Simon Peter is actually one name in he's a disciple from of Christ. Ephraim is a biblical name. Eben means Ebenezer, stone of hope. So make a note of all these biblical elements. Come to the next page 356.
underline 30 years you have walled over me wall you have 30 year old buried in me so he's been working hard for 30 years the stone walls the farm is surrounded with stone walls Come to page 357, last paragraph, realism under that. Backbreaking work of hauling stones, tending cattle, chopping wood, never ending seasonal process of transforming dormant lions into fertile fields. Okay, so they have been hard working people but caught between so many modern crises. Come to page 358. Underline that last influence of pur Puritanism. There's a fear of God all the time. Okay. I hope you have got a grip And you can attempt and understand more on your own. Okay, I'll stop here. Yeah. Ma'am, share PPTs, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Remind me uh, by mail if I forget. Uh, or uh, do you have our okay, phone numbers with with you by any chance? You have Manasas, ma'am. Ma'am, ma I'll remind you, ma'am. Ha, one of you. Okay, ma'am. If you can remind me, I'll just have my tea break now. Otherwise, I would have done it right away, but. Okay, so just remind me. I will. It will take some time for me to send the. I will also send you this document we prepared as an example. Okay, you can yes, go on adding to that. And you can prepare similarly for the others. So all the best. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you so uh, much. I, I hope uh, you understood everything. Thank you so much, ma'am. And yeah. I hope you I did justice. Uh, yes. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ahmad, you have to. Ahmad, please, Ahmad, you have to end this meeting.